What is going on, Jerome's? Happy, beautiful Monday. And your general manager, Kwesi Dofamensa, is continuing to uh, churn and burn the bottom of the rooster, especially in the wide receiver room. Now, I know, blah, 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 sign a guard. Blah, 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 sign a defensive lineman. But sort of is what it is. And the Vikings have signed uh, a running back and wide receivers. Hmm. Uh, but in addition to Nikhil Harry, the Vikings, uh, according to Ben Gessling, have signed former Tennessee Titans uh, receiver Jacob Copeland, uh, who was waived by uh, Tennessee last week. Uh, they waived wide receiver Cephas Johnson the third to make room for Copeland. Now, I had high hopes for Johnson the third. I thought that he was going to be the Taysom Hill type guy, but sort of is what it is. But let's talk about the new Vikings wide receiver today. Uh, background, Jacob Copeland. He's 24 years young. Yes, a little bit older of a rookie. He was undrafted in 2023. Uh, former four-star recruit from Pensacola, Florida. And he kept his talents in state. Uh, went to Tallahassee. No, Gainesville. Nailed it. Oof. <sighs> yeah, Gators fans a little bit upset there. Whatever. But uh, four seasons in Gainesville. Tom Petty. Rest in peace, man. Uh, career 86 catches, 1,366 yards receiving, and nine touchdowns. Uh, transferred to Maryland in 2022. Uh, Big Ten powerhouse, Maryland. Mm. Uh, put up 26, uh, 376, and two for the Terps. Also, he's returned kicks over uh, his five-year college career at a 17.1 uh, yards per kick return clip. Uh, Testing-wise, uh, did pretty well. Ran a 4.4240, uh, did a 8.16 in the RAS. Uh, great broad jump as well. Uh, racked up and stacked up in the bench. You know, agility-wise, could have been a little bit better, but. You know, uh, then uh, a scouting report from uh, Lancerline NFL.com uh, projection round seven priority free agent overview explosive athlete with NFL size and traits, but lacking an NFL skill set at the position. Copeland clearly has the athletic profile of an NFL wideout, and that will make him worthy of attention. His production has been average, though, and his tape does not always in uh, inspire. Copeland is missing the instincts and route acumen to set up his breaks and elude coverage. Uh, the physical profile gives him a shot, uh, but he will need to impress in camp to garner a roster opportunity. And with Copeland, you know, he already uh, was in camp with the Titans, and then they let him go, and he's a little bit behind the eight ball here now with the Vikings. Uh, he has a handful of practices before the first preseason game, uh, but he's already two weeks behind. Uh, but it's one of those situations where you have an absolute dynamic athlete that you're trying to make into a wide receiver. And we, you know, we've seen that before you know, with Cordero Patterson, with uh, Jalen Rager to a degree. Uh, but you know, Copeland does have some uh, physical attributes, and you know, Quasey absolutely loves the mama, I can change him. And you know, coaches always think that they can mold a player. You're born into it. I was born into it, molded by it. Mm. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately didn't work with uh, Cephas Johnson the third. Uh, but Jacob Copeland, he's a physical freak and uh, looking to get some, something going here with the Vikings. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts of Viking sign, another wide receiver, another one. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.